Hi everyone. In this video tutorial, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the concept of think time in load testing and then show you, show you how you can use it in your load tests to get a more realistic test. So here I have just recorded a scenario. The scenario is recorded against a travel website and I'm going to take a look at think time. So automatically when you record your scenarios include think time. Think time is the amount of time that a user spends either reading a page, comprehending a page, or deciding where to go from that page. So it's the amount of time that you spend on one particular page. If it's a very simple page with not a lot on it, the user might spend a second before moving on to the next page. If it is a complex form that the user has to fill out, they might spend 10 or 15 minutes on that page. Sometimes they have to go look for their wallet so they can fill in uh, their credit card information. So. What we'll do is take a look at what happened here. We recorded our scenario and we see that we went to the home page. There's zero think time included for the first page because that's the beginning of your test and you don't need to think about it. You just go there. Um, the second page is 430 milliseconds. The third page is nine seconds. Fourth page is six seconds, and the fifth page is almost 16 seconds. Now, these were the times that Load Complete noticed we took when we recorded the scenario. These are not always very realistic. When you're recording a scenario, you may have other things going on. You may um, set down your mouse and reach for a cup of coffee. So, I want to go back in and revisit these. If you decided, for example, that after they went to day tours, before they went to overnight tours, they were going to spend, let's say, four seconds. Remember, these are in milliseconds, so four seconds is 4,000 milliseconds. Next, they're going to look at overnight tours and make a decision on going on to stage events, and we can also give that, let's say, three seconds and let's just pretend that on stage events there was a complex form that had to be filled out. Let's give them one minute to fill it out. So we'll call that 60,000 milliseconds and then for international tours Ten seconds. And so now, when your test plays back, the first page will come up. It's going to go to the second page. After that page comes up, it is going to wait four seconds before going on to the next one. These think times are not going to affect the results of your test. It's just going to make pacing of your test a little bit more realistic and more like your actual customers. When you run your tests, you have the ability to run them using the think time defined in the scenario. So that's either the recorded times or the times you change that to. And then you also have the ability to use a random think time. So you could say, for example, I want, I want load complete to pick a random time between one second and 15 seconds for each page. Then what will happen is when you play it back, each page is going to have a random think time assigned to it. That might make it even more realistic because different users are going to have different think times on different pages or even on the same page. So up to you. This is just a tool that you can use to make your tests a little bit more realistic. 
Thank you very much, and see you next time.